In this video, I will introduce you to Neat Switching Relay 4. I will show you what is in the box, what the relay box can actually do, the default setup, how to control it via RS-232 or network, how to configure it with Neat's Project Designer, how to control it from a third-party control system, and some tips and tricks for you to get the most out of the features. Let's have a look at what is in the box. You will find one neat switching relay for screws for the lid, connectors for all the available ports, five cable binders, and the switching relay 4 manual. The switching relay 4 has many great features besides the four relays. It can extend your control system with extra RS-232 or I.O. ports. It has built-in screen control, so you only have to define the screen's up and down time once, leaving the timing up to the relay box. The control can be managed from IOs, RS-232, or network, from NEATS or a third-party control system. Furthermore, the switching relay 4 is also easy to install. All cables are connected with Phoenix connectors, so you can easily prepare your cables before you connect them. There are several locations to tie down cables with cable binders, and the box has room for all your cables. It also has four test buttons for the relays, so you can test your relay connection without having to power up the control system. By default, the switching relay 4 is configured to link the I.O. pins to the relays. Let's have a look at the I.O. pins. You control the I.O. by pulling it low, or explained in another way, by making a short circuit between the I.O. pin and ground, like this. The I.O. pins each control a relay. I.O. 1 controls relay 1, and I.O. 2 controls relay 2, and so on. If you want to control one or more relays from a NEATS control system, you just have to connect it to the I.O. ports. As an added benefit, the switching relay 4 can power a NEATS control system with a 12-volt output. Please be aware that the switching relay 4 is by factory configured to control a 230-volt screen or lift. Power to the screen is fed directly from the switching relay 4 power supply connector. Therefore, when using the screen connector, you must not use the relay 1 and 2 connectors. You can directly connect your screen to the screen connector. If you do not want to use the screen connector, then you need to remove fuse F1 and F3. For further details, you can read the section Controlling an Electrical Screen or Lift in the manual. When controlling the switching relay 4 by RS-232, you have to connect your control system to port 1. TX1 is connected to RX1, RX1 to TX1, and ground to ground. NEAT Switching Relay 4 is fully integrated with NEAT's control systems and Project Designer. For third-party control systems, you can find the control commands in the manual. By default, one RS-232 line only allows connection to a single device. But with the Switching Relay 4, you can use the RS-232 loop-through feature to connect the relay box without using an extra RS-232 port. Neat Switching Relay 4 is not limited by the baud rate, so each port can run at separate baud rate and still be working. From RS-232, you can also control the four I.O. ports. They can be used as both inputs or outputs. Besides RS-232, you can control the Switching Relay 4 via network. Like RS-232, you have full control of the four I.O. ports. And with network control, you can use both RS-232 ports to extend your system. Or you can configure one or both of the RS-232 ports to send infrared codes. The Switching Relay 4 is a powerful device with many features, which is easy to configure using NEAT's Project Designer and NEAT's Control System. You can find the NEAT Switching Relay 4 device in the device list. Drag it to your required port. The configuration of the NEAT Switching Relay 4 is done automatically. You only need to enter the serial number of your device. You can see the ports on the Switching Relay 4 is shown directly in the software. And you can drag devices directly to these ports. To configure the relays, you simply drag in a screen. And set the up and down time and click Add or you can drag in an output. 
the relay is now ready to be used in your project. You also use drag and drop to configure the IOs, as for instance inputs, outputs, key lock, or a movement sensor. Using network, you can connect several neat switching relays to one control system. You only need to enter the serial number of the relay box. There is no need to set up or configure IP addresses, as communication and configuration of the relay box is done with multicast. For the automatic configuration to be done, it is important that you update your NEAT Switching Relay 4 with the latest firmware. It is simple to do. Connect the switching relay to your PC via USB and open up the Project Designer. The Project Designer will detect the relay and prompt you to update the firmware. Click OK and the latest firmware is uploaded to the relay box. To use the NEAT Switching Relay with third-party control systems, you need to know how you configure and control the relay box. You find the commands in the back of the manual. They look like this. This example command activates a relay. It is divided up in parts. First part is the unit ID. By default, the unit ID is 1. Any command that does not begin with the correct ID is disregarded by the unit. Each part of the command is separated with a comma, and a command must always end with a carriage return. Please be aware that all commands are case sensitive. If the neat switching relay detects an error in the command line, the entire command will be ignored, and the neat switching relay will reply with an error. If a command is accepted, the neat switching relay will reply OK. When the neat switching relay is power cycled, it will revert back to the last saved state and settings. You can save the current state and settings with the save command. Therefore, you have to configure the switching relay in the state you want after a power cycle, and then send the save command. The switching relay will then power up in the state that you saved. Controlling the NEAT switching relay with RS-232, you would use these default connection settings. Any command that does not begin with a unit ID or the correct ID is forwarded on to the second RS-232 port. For network control, the default control port is 5000. Commands sent on port 5011 or 5012 is forwarded on to the RS-232 port 1 or 2. Let me share a few tips and tricks with you for you to benefit from some of the great features of the NEAT Switching Relay 4. If you use the switching relay with a third-party control system, you can use RS-232 loop-through feature to daisy-chain more units together. You would need to set a different ID on each of the switching relays. NEATS would recommend that you do not daisy chain more than 8 units together in a chain. The NEAT switching relay ID can be changed by RS-232, network or the test buttons. Let me demonstrate how it is done. When connecting the power to the switching relay, you will see that power is blue and one of the relay lights is on. This is the current ID. To change this, connect the power and within the first 5 seconds, hold one of the test buttons until the unit restarts and the correct ID is shown. If there is an error in the system, it will be displayed on the relay LEDs. When an error occurs, the power LED will flash red and the relay LEDs will indicate the error type. You can find a list of errors in the manual. If you want to reset the NEAT switching relay, you can at any time hold the relay test button 1 and 4 down until the unit reboots and resume the factory settings. Thank you for watching. To learn more, please visit neats.dk.